Oh, yo, yo. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, welcome to this uh, Tea with Jack Rose show. And here, like, I invite guests to, like, you know, talk about, like, lifestyle and mindset. Uh, it's a free and easy kind of a conversation. And, yeah. Guys, here. Gonna invite him. All right. Hi, Jack. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, so like. Yeah, so since this thing is going to be sort of like uh, recorded and being put up on the IGTV, so uh, I'm going to start a proper like introduction. So yeah, oh. welcome to the uh, Tea with Jack Low show. And uh, today, both of us like, are going to talk about like uh, topics regarding like lifestyle mindset. And uh, since both of us like, has some sort of like a main thing that we actually do, a main job and as well as a side hustle uh, kind of a thing, and uh, today we are going to talk about those. Yeah. And uh, before we move on, like, uh, how are you doing, man? Yeah. I'm doing fine, man. Thanks. Uh, yeah, of course, 2020 has been a hard year. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, uh, if it, uh, personally for me, it has been hard, uh, not only from like, uh, you know, uh, the financial side and the job side. Yeah, I've been through a lot uh, emotionally as well in my personal life. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, life goes on, man. We have to, <laughs> we have to go on, you know, uh, of course, like, uh, uh, let me just go, you know, shit happens, but that shouldn't stop us, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been through a lot. I'm sure, uh, many of us have been through a lot in Definitely. this year. Uh, yeah, but yeah, just trying to survive, trying to hustle. Hustle and grind, yeah. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, so yeah, man. Like, although it's a, like a tough year and everything, but uh, I think we got to move on. And yeah, so like uh, moving on to the topics that uh, we really want to talk about. So I myself, like, uh, to give you guys a bit of context, like, uh, I do some uh freelance video game editing, and on the side, I do this small channel of me like connecting with like other people, you know. Uh, having fun, you That's know, awesome. yeah, yeah, and uh, the main thing is that uh, it's gonna be like quite draining because like, uh, for me, like uh, personally, like uh, in the morning and the afternoon, like I do the video game editing and all that kind of stuff, and uh, at night, uh, that's when I start to do like this small channel, uh, like I hit up people to join the show, uh, and I'm just starting to do it, and uh, so far I think it's still okay. I think I'm still feeling like the energy, like, you know, how it's like sort of like a honeymoon period, you know, like, because I'm just starting to do it and I'm still having like a lot of energy to do it. And okay. I'm still on fire. And yeah, like uh, not, nothing much to, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I'm still on the honeymoon period and uh, slowly I will start to like, you know, the energy will start to fit off. And I hope that I can build like certain systems and habits for myself to keep moving. Yeah. And I believe, like, you have your side hustle as well, like, so, yeah, talk to me about it, man, like, uh, what's up with that? Well, yeah, uh, just uh, to let the uh, viewers know as well, uh, I'm a teacher in Jakarta, Indonesia, and uh, I'm working as a freelancer. I prefer to work as a freelancer. Uh, I have more freedom. And uh, the thing is, like, you know, uh, 2020 uh, has uh, has been uh, hard, of course, uh, especially for people who have been like freelancers like me. Yeah, uh, but uh, it's uh, it's getting better now. And you know, talking about uh, side hustle, I believe like let's say you have a job, you are busy with one certain thing uh, at, at this specific moment, and you want to have like a side hustle too. So it's pretty important to, uh, you know, uh, follow something uh, that is like your passion and you like it as your side hustle, you know, because uh, 
what I see, like many people like uh, choose their side hustle, something that uh, they think like brings lots of money for them. Cool. And, uh, you know, the thing is like the thing about side hustle is you shouldn't see the financial part of it. Right. Uh, you should see like your passion about right. it. Because what what makes us go uh, is emotion. You know, we are creatures of emotion. Yeah. And uh, if something that, uh, you know, can, uh, you know, uh, how can I tell you, like, uh, keep that uh, burning fire within us and make us go uh, and we choose that as our side hustle, that would be amazing. Like, uh, for me, myself, I'm a teacher. And right. what I personally am really interested in uh, is, like, uh, personal development. Because it has helped me a lot in my life. Right. And uh, as I told you, like, I'm not at all trying to act like a, a motivational speaker or anything. I'm not. And uh, uh, in my own personal life, I've been through a lot emotionally. And what has helped me to stay sane uh, was, you know, uh, reading, like, motivational books. Uh, right. uh, you know, listening to Gary Vee, you know. Uh, listening to uh, like people like Jay Shetty, like you know, uh, listening to positivity. Yeah, I listen to them you as know? well. Yeah, sure, because that that has been what kept me sane so far, and that's what uh, made me interested in personal development. You know, so uh, because uh, I I realized that even if you are fin uh, financially stable, but if you are not, uh, you know, mentally stable, you are not happy, you know. And to me, like, happiness is the key. So that's what made me really interested in personal development. Maybe for someone else, the side hustle can be, like, a photography. You know, they are emotionally interested right. in photography. Yeah. Right. For someone else, it can be, like, uh, editing gaming videos as a side hustle. You know? Right. So... Just follow what makes you happy as your side hustle. And, of course, it's hard. Uh, no one says it's easy. Uh, but uh, right. as long as you have the passion about it, I'm sure uh, you, can, you can do that. Yeah. yeah. I relate to that a lot because, like, I think it was, like, one year back during, like, my uh, military, ser uh, military service where I work as an admin. Uh, and there's one point where I heard about, like, Gary Vee. You know, because like you mentioned about like keeping yourself sane, and I relate that, yeah. to that a lot. And it was like one year ago, like it, I see this guy Gary V, motivational speaker or what's or not. Like he's just doing his normal talk and everything. And the things that he talk about, he he actually make a lot of sense. And I I don't know, it just connects with me a lot. And I I start to like listen to him a lot, and uh, it it start to make me more sane. I'll say. Like, it makes me more, like, mentally, like, uh, aware of, like, different things that is happening around me. And that, like, I, I start to, like, recognize human behaviors that I did not uh, recognize before. Like, I, I'm i just feeling that, like, uh, in terms of, like, everyone's, like, human behaviors in, in the society and in my friend groups, my family members included, uh, there's, like, patterns to it. There's, there's like, always, like, same things will actually happen over and over again. Uh, it can be like ego. It can be like, uh, I'll say, like if the person is like happy or sad or in a depressed uh, version or what so not. And I don't know, man, like uh, after picking up from Gary Vee, I started listening to Jay Shetty and more and more of those like people with like a positive mental uh, attitude, you know, and then, I start to see more things, you know, that things start to make more sense. And uh, I say that, like, if you do not, like, listen to them, it may make you, like, sort of, like, uh, not sane because it's hard for you to, like, keep up with the mental stuff because, like, there's always, like, a lot of, like, noises in the society and you will not, like, know which direction to lean to, you know, like, what is right, what is wrong. I... I am on this state. I, I'm not saying that I, I totally understand like what is right and what is wrong at this point of time. And uh, it's like people like Gary Vee, Jay Shetty, that helps me to understand 
yeah, this is actually the right thing. This is the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally into uh, this type of stuff. And uh, I don't know for you, like, uh, how do you like learn, like, uh, besides like Gary Vee or G Shetty, and uh, mm-hmm. that helps you to like understand more about like personal development kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's a great question. Well, uh, you know, of course, like listening to all these like podcasts and like following these inspirational people on Instagram and social media is great. Uh, but I, I personally like uh, reading books as well. I read uh, some books like uh, recently I have uh, started reading uh, a book like How to Win Friends and Influence People. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I've got a bunch of books. So... Reading books is uh, one of my other passions, especially if they are about history or personal development. Correct. And uh, yeah, uh, so one one other way that I try to keep myself sane and learn uh, and improve myself during this journey is by uh, reading books, besides following all these inspirational people. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, that's cool. And I, I think that um, books definitely help, man. I think like recently, like uh, someone recommended me like a book called uh, Atomic Habits, something like this. And okay. uh, but the thing is, like, I, I get bored of it. it it's true, an audio book, you know, like, uh, oh, okay, I, okay. yeah, I, I don't think like I'm very good at like listening to like this type of like books kind of stuff. I, I prefer like uh, okay. high energy, you know, I usually okay. listen to Gary Vee. And because he's yeah, like of energy. Yeah. yeah he has high energy and then uh, I think I get like more absorbed into it but uh, sure. definitely like I I, I would like uh, like to try on books as well but I think got to find the correct one yeah yeah, yeah that's definitely. that's the thing about books I, I can be honest some of the books are boring yeah <laughs> but, and, and there are some books that you know just excite you uh, yeah correct. so uh, yeah and uh the thing is, like, uh, how to say, like, some people are comfortable with audiobooks, right. and some people are comfortable with the hard copy. Uh, right. And, yeah, I'm, I'm more comfortable with the hard copy because I can, like, underline and highlight the parts that I'm ah, uh, I more interested in. But I can't do that with audiobook, you know. And personally, for me, myself, uh, audiobooks are kind of okay if they are, like, the summarized version of the book like short version like i can just listen for 10 minutes some audiobooks go for like two hours three hours you know that just <laughs> makes me fall asleep man <laughs> so yeah. yeah it it really uh depends on the type of the book and yeah uh like for example like uh who's the person like uh uh you should know like uh you know grant cardon you know oh, he, yeah, he also has he has a book like 10x the 10x rule so you know, Grant Cardone himself is full of energy and uh, positivity. So when you read right. his book, you also feel that energy. So you see, that's like the uh, the thing about that. So I I believe you should find the uh, the book that like matches. Uh, yeah, I think uh, there's some kind of connection. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. You should find that connection. Yeah, I yeah, believe definitely. that. And of course, uh, you know, uh, we are uh, more comfortable with things that we see visually so that's why like when we see like uh, Gary V and all these other people uh, going live or when they have like videos uh, you know we can see them we can hear them so that's like uh, the, the effect is double you know yeah so definitely. yeah I yeah I believe that yeah visual uh, uh, materials are uh, working much better as definitely well. you if there's like sort of like a visual effects and that like you can see a person on live yeah you can feel more of the like the connection between uh like the viewer and then the uh person who is like uh, presenting and i i feel a lot more connection that way as well because like recently uh gary v he hosts the thing called like tv gary v and yeah. he just like talked to like uh people like one-on-one and i i definitely feel that like uh, people can feel the connection between him and the audience much easier, you know, because yeah. there's like the the person that is like uh, at live, you know, live talking and talking to the person. I I think the viewer who are listening, they probably can empathize like uh at the situation that is going on, and yeah, you know, there's so much energy in into that, and I I just love that. 
And back to the topic of yeah. like uh, side hustle. Uh, like, what do you think is like the main thing that uh, people got to like do to get into the side hustle? Because for me, uh, personal experience is that uh, I, I did not try much stuff enough, you know. It was like just one year back that uh, I listened to Gary Vee and then I started to like, oh, I should be myself and I should kind of like find the thing that fits me, that uh, that belongs to me, that I, I really want to do. So I think for me, it was like, uh, first of all, action. Uh, he said starting a podcast and I think like after a few months, I started my own podcast show and I do vlogging as well. Um, uh, I talk about like a lot of my personal feelings, you know, like because like uh, I think I'm just being very insecure. Like my past few years was being a very insecure dude. Like I did not dare to like uh, share a lot of stuff about myself, especially my about my history because like uh, my dad uh, passed away when I was like 12 and that was like a big insecurity for me. And I did not dare to like uh, share it out loud. And like after like a while, you know, like I start to realize no, nobody actually starts to care about it. You know, I, I vlog it and I, I just share it out like to everyone and the world still seems the same, you know, like uh, I'm just building like sort of like a geo mental framework into my head and that like it was so hard for me to like go past it and it was that moment where I shared out and then realized that it was actually nothing, you know, like, uh, like, it's just something that like, I make up like some sort of like insecurity within myself that I don't know. I, I'm just like choking myself a lot. And I, I, I felt so relieved, you know, that uh, actually it, it does not matter at all. And, you know, soon to realize that uh, as I do more stuff, you know, like uh, put away the insecurity out the window and just keep doing. I tried uh, photography. I tried like, podcasting, vlogging, and like try more stuff. And, you know, I just realized myself more as a person. And uh, until today, you know, uh, still doing my thing and just trying to have fun as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Just just uh, try to have fun. Because as I said earlier as well, your side hustle should be something that is your passion. You should have fun about it. You know. Right. If like right. let's say uh, you are going to like office, uh, you know, nine to five, and you work like a robot, and you want to have a side hustle, cool. you know, your side hustle shouldn't be like a robot as well. It should be something that you do full heartedly. And yeah, the the main key is happiness, man. Just just do what makes you happy, and as long as you are yeah. not hurting anyone by your happiness, that's that's good, you know, and. You mentioned right. uh, the overthinking uh, part. Yeah, we all we all yeah. like overthink. I I believe that as well. I I I still sometimes overthink myself, but you know the thing is like uh, we have to understand like uh, you know each individual person is uh, more interested in themselves than in you. Okay, so right, let's right. say uh, I I am A and I meet uh, person B, so. I am I am like thinking, oh, what if I say this and person B like uh, doesn't like it? What if I say this and the person B like uh, thinks this about me? You know, right. so we are all building these things in our head. But at the same time, person B is having the same thoughts as us. You know, right. person B is saying, oh, what should I do? So person A likes me. What should I do that person B? A doesn't think so you know whatever we are thinking you know that uh, those uh, all those overthinkings the other people are having it as well so we are all busy mentally in our own head you know Correct. all of us thinking about Correct. what other people think but as a matter of fact when we say out things and we release uh, all that pressure that we've been holding in us we can see right. that others actually do not care that much as well you know, Correct. because Correct. They, are, they are having their own mental business as well. So that's why, like, uh, that's what can help us uh, with overcoming, uh, you know, overthinking as well. And, yeah, like, uh, uh, as you said yourself, like, you said all those things and nothing changed. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, and yeah. 
that's that's great, man. I'm I'm happy that uh, you've started this journey, yeah. and uh, it's your happiness that's that's what uh, you know counts. That's what yeah. matters. Yeah, yeah, cool. Like because like I I don't know, man. Like uh, because like after listening to more of like what Gary V say, he said he talks a lot about like uh. No, no, no one cares about like much about like what you're like thinking like the thing that you were like very afraid of like sharing, uh, mm-hmm. to everyone else is something that no one gives a fuck about like they yeah, they, exactly. they they don't they don't they don't give a shit about it yeah. and it's, it's just like a something I think it's like a mental game man like uh like you keep it like to yourself and you think too much about it and uh it does not matter that much to someone else. They like what you say. Like everyone else have their own problems. Like they are minding their own problems at that at that moment. Like no one gives a shit about like the exactly. stuff that you're you're having. And that that's the game, man. Like uh, just got to move on and just you know have fun, chill, and do do your passion thing. And uh, you know, like feel more and like see see how things goes, man. Like uh, it's just kind of like a free flow kind of the thing that. Just got to have like the work ethics and um thinking about like um uh, like I'm thinking about like overthinking you know like uh stick like because like me getting into the routine doing the side hustle kind of a thing uh it's kind of like uh hard for us to like maintain certain system especially freelancing job because it's a free yeah. and easy schedule and it's like hard for yourself to like maintain that kind of like sort of like discipline you got to like set up some like system and habit for yourself to like keep moving if not like nothing gonna move because it's a free and easy schedule if you're not gonna do anything about it uh you're gonna suffer uh because there's like bills to pay there's like things to like pay definitely and uh you you got to be responsible and uh for me i think that like uh, a lot of like uh habits, a lot of rules that I set for myself helps me to like do more things, and at the same time, there's there's a lot of pressure to it, and because like I'm on this like honeymoon period, uh, just starting out, uh, so it's kind of like easy for me, I'll say, and I I'm just afraid that like uh, as time goes by, uh, how am I gonna manage it? Man- manage it, but I got a good feeling about it. And I I feel that it's always like the good system and habits saying that, okay, if I uh finish this certain task, I finish like my morning job and morning exercise and everything, I'm satisfied for the day, because like times when like uh I go very unsatisfied, like saying that oh I did not do this uh certain thing or like I did this certain thing very badly, I I will go a very bad momentum, for the rest of the day. And I don't know uh how is it for you because like I think this is sort of like a mental game for myself as well, uh, to like uh build this momentum, good momentum for myself to do more and do more work as a freelancer. Yeah, how how is it? How do you juggle with your your end? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, you know the thing is uh you have to be persistent about it. You have to keep going. So you have to keep on posting, uh, let's say, your content, whatever you are doing. You you have to be consistent, you know. For it. So uh, yeah, like uh, I can I can see some people like uh, you know they they have like the passion about it, uh, about their side hustle and uh, uh, but they are not like consistent about it. Like one day they do it, one yeah. day they do a lot of work, next day they are lazy. That doesn't work. So whatever you do maintain your consistency you know stay consistent right. and that is very 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 important you know uh consistency uh you know uh can work uh, much stronger uh even if you don't have talent you know you just stay consistent and go and uh that is uh what i believe so sometimes it's hard you know Correct. especially Correct. when it comes to time management and so on you know the thing is like when we talk about time, it all uh, comes down to priorities, you know. Right. And if what you have chosen as your side hustle is your passion, you will uh, you will count it as one of your top priorities, you know, automatically. Right. So the thing is, like, uh, choose something that is truly your passion. 
even if you don't get money for it, like now we are not getting any money for what we do, right? It's just yeah, our yeah, passion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So choose something that is your passion, and uh, you know, stay consistent. Be consistent. Just do whatever you do every day. Don't don't take break. Just keep going every day, and uh, you know, find the time. You know, we all have twenty four hours a day. And I read I read somewhere uh, a nice sentence. It was saying that if a person says, "I don't have time." It doesn't mean that they are busy. It means that they are not able leaders. Okay, so you know, like uh, let's say uh, in 24 hours a day, just find five minutes to post something on Instagram. That's that's easy. It doesn't take much time. You just press a you know post button. So you know uh, the the thing is you have to be consistent. And you know, like uh, especially when you are new. When you are new in a field, uh, you go through this phase. You know, uh, it's like a upside down curve. Let me tell you. Like, uh, right. let's say uh, I uh, I'm interested in uh, photography. Let's right. just say that. So uh, when I get into this field, I see oh, there are like lots of top paid photographers. I can make lots of money. I like making. Uh, uh, photos. I like making contents about photography, so I have lots of passion about it. You know, right. so that is that is what we call like uh, you know a known optimism. I know all the good things. I know if I become a photographer, I get lots of money. You know, uh, like uh, it's something that I like. It's my passion. I can do it easily. It's like known optimism, and then slowly, slowly, we go down. That's when you know things get harder. Like you see, oh, I'm posting content, but I don't get lots of <laughs> likes. I don't get lots yeah. of views. You know, uh, oh, like uh, I'm not getting money. So that is what we call known pessimism. Now, from unknown optimism, you go to known pessimism. You know, like things are not that easy. You know, things are harder. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's. That's maybe a few months after you have started your journey. Things look right. bad. Yeah. And then we go to like valley of despair. Like that is like the time that you are just dragging yourself. You know, things, things are not going well, but you just drag yourself with persistence. That is when like you have to be mentally strong. You know, you, know, uh, you are not getting follows. You are not getting likes. But you are just like think, oh, this is my passion, I have to do it. You just drag yourself in that valley of despair. And then you slowly, slowly see some results. You see some things are changing. And uh, that is when, like, things start to shoot up straight, you know. So the problem with uh, lots of us is when uh, we go to that, uh, you know, after a few months when we see no results, we give up. So. Right. That's a problem with most of us. We are we are not persistent. We are not willing to you know drag ourselves because sometimes literally you have to like drag yourself. You know, like yeah. uh, you know there are like some days that you are like oh man I'm too lazy or maybe you had a fight right. with your parents and you are not just in the mood to do I anything. I have that too. I know? have that too. Yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. man. We all ha we all have that. We all have that. <laughs> but you know. The thing is, like, when we are feeling good and when we are happy, of course, we can we can do things, we can do we can post things, we can uh, we we have the energy. But what counts is you put effort when shit is going down, like when when you know things are not right, you are emotionally down, you drag yourself. That is that is what counts. A anyone can do it when they are feeling good, you know. What counts yeah. is how you face it when you are down. Yeah, yeah. We, all, we all have it, man. Yeah, I, I relate to that a lot because like recently I uh, played this sort of like a 5v5 strategy video game. And that mm -hmm. like, because in the game itself, there's like high, I'll say there's like high moments and low moments. Like yeah, during know. those like high moments, everyone will start to communicate. They will like high energy, communicate a lot of stuff. But when things goes bad, like go bad, people, that's when you see the real shit, man. <laughs> I know. Like uh, people will like uh have like this tense uh situation 
uh, tense vibes and everyone is just like blaming each other, pointing fingers. And, you know, like I relate to that a lot. Like I know that we are like, you're talking about like uh, habits and everything like on how to like keep it consistent. But I relate this to like video game, you know, like when things are good, things are high. And then uh, people will like, oh, I can do, I can do this, I can do that. Like, I, I think there's like a lot of optimism into it. There's like a lot of optimism to it. But when things go low, a lot of pessimism. Like, yeah, I, 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 I just relate to that a lot, man. And uh, I think that uh, going through these pessimistic like moments, like it's the strength. Like if you can go through that, that is what counts. And I, I believe that like when we are able to go through that, that um, we can bring in a lot of like success. We can learn a lot of stuff because that's the things that you need to go through. Like everyone can like do the like high moments. Like anyone can have fun, you know. But it's during those down days and hard moments. That is the hard part, and I I totally relate to that. And I I like what you said. Like uh, if you are able to like. Go, go past this like stagnant moment like mm -hmm. that's where you will start to see more light uh, like out of the tunnel or what so not you know yeah 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 that's that's true man that's true and you know like uh, that's like uh, one of the things that uh, uh, I like like uh, because recently I finished the book like 10x rule by Grant Cardone and uh, ah, these I things were the like these things were mentioned in it. It was pretty interesting to me. Like, uh, it is said like when we start something, we think it's it's easy. Uh, I can do it. You know, that's our uh, first impression. You know, of that matter. But what we have to think, we have to think that it's not that easy. We have to think it's ten times harder than what we imagine. You know. So if you want to like, uh, I don't know, like uh, do this uh, matter, you want to have like let's say this uh, Instagram page about like gaming and so on, maybe you All think, right. oh, it's easy at first, but you have to think it's 10 times harder. Maybe you think like, oh, I have to put this much effort. Maybe I have to create this much content uh, per week. No, it's not enough. You have to create 10 times. So, you know, everything goes like 10 times. So uh, that's, uh, that's like uh, how we can think. Of course, as you said, like many, many of us like, uh, have that optimism at first, and then when we go uh, like uh, a bit further, we see things are getting right. harder. You know, we tend to give up. But when from the beginning you have that mindset that it's not easy, like from the very beginning you don't be like, oh, I can do it. No, you 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 have to put much more effort. So you know, uh, and you have to be like really committed to it. You know. Uh, right. And when it comes to committed and persistence, uh, you know, the thing that can help you in that is like having passion about it, you know? Correct. So that's good. I, I also have another friend. Uh, he's like watching us. He's also pretty into like gaming. And cool. uh, yeah, like, yeah, like the thing is like, you know, it's it's your passion. So if, you're pa if it's your passion, you can do it even uh, when you are having bad days. You know, because yeah. you're like, oh, I, I, it's my passion. I can do it. But imagine, like, uh, you do something that is not your passion. So when you go through uh, rough days, uh, you're not, uh, I, I'm not in the mood. I don't, I don't want to do it. So it's, it's pretty important to follow what your passion is. And, you know, the thing is, like, many of us don't know what our passion is. Yeah. And in order to find that, we have to just try as many things as possible. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah, and you know, you tried lots of things, and then you were like, "Oh, gaming is fun." Yeah, you know? so you can you can uh, do that. You found your passion. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What I think, yeah, uh, you definitely. have to be consistent. Yeah, you have to follow your passion and uh, just keep going every single day, feeling uh, good or bad. And yeah, uh, you will of course make lots of mistakes. You will have lots of bad days, but you know I always say it's only a mistake if you don't learn from it. If you learn from it, it's a lesson. And people people let uh, let's say people pay high prices for learning lessons. 
Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's it's just this uh, journey that we all go through. Uh, I also have no days, bad days. Yeah, you also have your own bad days, but we keep push ourselves. That's what counts, man. Yeah, definitely. I think where we're going right now is like uh, having like practical optimism. Like the moment you mentioned about 10x, I think of like being practical. Like you got to be practical about, about it because like at the start, um, initial impression of like a certain task or anything, you will seem that say that, ah, oh, this is easy. Like I can do it. Like, no, nah. like when you 10x the expectation, it will match the expectation uh, with, with the reality, you know? Like you anticipate like this thing is gonna be hard. So like the moment you do it, like uh you you will know like how is it gonna be like over time, you know, because like we talk about like the overtime period, that's when you will start to feel like the the things start to get really hard. And I, I totally feel that because like uh I watch a lot of like Gary Vee content and he talks a lot about like being practical. Like he just uh, don't bullshit people, you know, like, uh, if things is correct or wrong, just straight up say, say to your face and that kind of stuff. And I feel that uh, that straight up, like, uh, uh, talking about certain things is being practical. Like, uh, you are not, like, creating, like, some sort of, like, a delusional kind of, like, a framework for you to, like, oh, like, this is easy or anything. Like, it's not, like, if it's not, it's, it's not, like, you, uh, I think like got to be very practical, got to be very real with like stuff. And I, I feel like uh, if you turn X towards like everything, you are being a real person. Like you are being real like that because like uh, like doing that, it's, it's, it sounds, it's going to be hard. 10X like it's really hard. Like when you have like certain thing, uh, that you thought that uh it's gonna be easy you 10x it like it's gonna sound like a lot of work and all these things will come down to your work ethics like are you like hard work like are you hard working enough to like work for it or are you just a half ass you know if you're half ass you're not gonna get anywhere but uh i think that like if you are being practical about stuff like uh it'll get you somewhere and right now like uh me me doing my freelance video editing uh it's like a, i think it's gonna be a like a long long journey and that i got to keep up with the discipline like i got to be practical about it like uh i i need to think of like the things that i'm doing right now is very easy so that like I, over time i am able to like keep up the consistent work like you mentioned a lot of, like about consistency and i think that uh, doing like my this job or whatsoever it requires a lot of like consistency that i got to like be realistic about it. I got 10 x about it. I, I, I can apply it right now, you know. Like I got a 10 x it. It's it's not gonna be easy. Okay. So I yeah, I think that that sort of like mental shift, you know, it helps me to like keep on working. Like work a lot better and uh be more efficient. And then the client who I'm working with, uh they will feel like, whoa, this guy is doing more than like I asked for. Like uh people will start to like you even more as well. And I, I think that that's a very good strategy for myself to use like right after this talk, you know. Uh, I think it's a very yep. good mental shift, you know. And I like it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. That's, that's great. And, you know, uh, yeah, you mentioned, like, uh, I talk about consistency a lot. And yeah. uh, because that's something that I truly uh, believe in. Like, uh, let's say, like, uh, you're working on your... Uh, let's say side hustle like uh, right. three hours a day. Let's say, so uh, let's say uh, like one day you you don't have time and you are so busy with your main job or your main duties, and you are like, oh, I don't have time for my side hustle. No, don't do. That. If you like just stop doing it for one day, that's when you screw up everything. Even if right. possible. Like, uh, if not three hours, put five minutes. You know, the thing is, like, of course, you have, like, your ups and downs, but don't cut the line, you know. So you have to do it every single day. It doesn't matter, like, uh, how much. You have to, like, be consistent. Uh, because uh, you don't know, like, uh, a few days ago, I was uh, watching a video. I forgot who it was. You know, the guy mentioned something uh, interesting. He said, like, uh, like, 
for some people who want to get like lots of followers on Instagram and so on. Right. So the boy was saying, I post lots of stuff on my Instagram, uh, but some days I feel lazy. I don't post anything. And then <laughs> the next day I post like two. And then like the other guy was like, yeah, the day that you stop posting, you are like ruining all the previous efforts, you know? So yeah. you just have to be, yeah, you have to be, you have to be consistent uh, about it. And what I liked, you earlier mentioned, like, uh, yeah. you know, when you are dealing with like your customers and with your clients, you know, yeah, give yeah. your best to them, you know, that's, uh, that's something that only comes if what you do is your passion. So when you do and uh, when you do something with love, with your passion, and you are not mainly thinking about the money, you go in full and you give your best job, you know. And that is like uh, something I uh, truly believe. I think if like uh, uh, you do, you ju everyone just follow this, you know. They give more uh, value than the money that they receive. Okay. Right. Uh, the world would be a much more beautiful place, I believe. So, yeah. you know, you have to you have to add more, uh, you know, use value than the uh, money that you receive. Even like a few days ago, I read a tweet. It was pretty interesting. It was like, don't lower your price, add the value. Okay. So, you know, uh, I really uh, uh, believe in all the things that you said earlier. That's why I really like your mindset, man. You know, you have to be consistent and you have to add value. You know, that's... That's what yeah. counts, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's like uh like a game changer for me. Like I I believe True. like uh when when you have like work ethics that uh you show that people that you have this quality you you can bring value and that uh you are willing to pay the price for it and like people will like you you know like if you are able to like work hard for like uh the different aspects of like uh different areas uh I I don't know like um. Uh, towards like your family or whatsoever, uh, that also kind of counts like uh, when your friends like see that, oh, like uh, this guy, he's being very responsible, he's holding a lot of like accountability, like people around you will start to like you even more. And yeah, man, uh, so we have come uh, quite a long session and uh, let's wrap it up right over here. And then like, uh, we have covered like quite a bit of stuff right over here, man, like uh, side hustle and uh, a lot of like uh, mental, mentality that helps us to like keep on moving forward uh and like uh, uh you you gave a lot of like uh, practical tips that you learned so far that uh i think can help a lot of people to like uh learn about it to help them to like uh improve their habits improve their system so that when they're out there they can do uh, a better job and it's very fun talking to you you know like uh it's just like a free and easy talk uh i hope you have fun and yeah, I, yeah I, I I truly had fun, man. I really enjoyed it, and I learned I learned a lot from you as well. Yeah, and I I really right. uh, I really love your passion. I can I can feel your passion and energy <laughs> from here, and uh, that's uh, really amazing, man. Uh, so cool. Uh, I yeah I just uh, wish you and uh, whoever you know watches this in the future or is watching right now, you know, uh, to uh, just stay consistent with their passion, you know, the, uh, and, uh, yeah, the worth ethics. Yeah. Uh, you have to, uh, hold accountability for what you do and try to give your best. And, uh, yeah, uh, all the things that you said are real, man. I, I, I truly enjoyed yeah. this session and I really hope we can uh, talk more in the future as well, man. Definitely. I think it's definitely like a good catch up, you know, like just talk about like sure. different stuff. Uh, that is in our mind and uh, like our personal experience and all and yeah that's, awesome. uh, that's the end of like tea with Jack Rose show and uh, I hope everyone enjoy and you as well and yeah man peace out guys yeah yeah cool. cheers have a great see time see you guys have a good one